good evening my dear friends and as well as my would be mothers who are listening to this uh, talk at the onset i just like to thank mr ashok kumar ashok prasad and niraj kumar to giving me the opportunity to share my views on free term labor a enigma which ends up in a dreadful condition in patient and the attenders losing lots of money in keeping the baby in the incubator or at outset only of the birth the baby is exposed to higher antibiotics and so many things the main thing always we should understand that how to prevent this preventable this is a preventable uh, incident and we can prevent it how it doesn't require much big big things or you need to go to delhi bombay or high cities to maintain even in our remotest village three or four things we need to understand whenever my would be mothers are carrying the concerned doctors or the concerned uh, anm or the concerned uh, those mane uh, sahiyas as well as the uh, just workers lady workers who are working to um, uh, save those uh, mother from the state government or to save the motherhood programs for the children as well as for the uh, mothers first thing i will always try to tell you that get every time make sure that at least once a month you visit your doctor second thing please follow the doctor's prescription because they will always lead you to the best outcome they will never allow you to fall into this trap of preterm labor and all these thing these are all traps when you try to mislead doctor or you don't try to follow a doctor doctor is your friend they lead you to the best outcome because for a doctor your healthy child is the best reward you can give it to your doctor who is taking care of you during the 9 months phase second thing whatever doctors gives investigation please do it your routine uh, anc investigation hardly be required to do a, a regular hemoglobin as well as urine because we need to see the urine infection status because if this infection if you take care of it will shorten preterm labor by more than 60% of the total epidemiological thing. second thing the treatment which doctor gives please do follow adequate water at least 4 liters of water adequate lemon two lemons a day along with jaggery and all please try to avoid all this hard food like those uh, snacks and all these things please take lot of uh, green vegetables as well as lot of sprouts and uh, legumes uh, vegetables so that your motion all those things are easy if you have always used to remember if your motion is clear if your urine is clear if your mane genital hygiene every week or at least 15 days just clean your vagina with lukewarm water with little salt you don't need to put many ointments or detol or detanol because those are not required at all but in, instead it will create problem so just clean your vagina regularly just take medicines regularly just visit your doctors regularly just follow doctors whichever they give progesterone like sustain and all these things try to see that doctor is your friend they are not there to spoil your money they are there to save the child and they always want to their intent is always to give you the best child which you deserve and for that thing please take those medicines like sustain and so many things are there whenever doctor feels that there will there is a chance of preterm labor all these things doctor will switch on to hormones like sustain and all this progesterone based uh, hormones they will give because to they want you to have the best child and three things you should remember follow a doctor take the medicines get investigation done every time meet sayas and those health workers those who are supposed to make and give you medicines and all this in take those medicines visit doctors and eat like legumes green vegetables as well as water 4 liters a day and two lemons a day that will keep you the best mother and that will make you the best mother and you will be proud of your doctor as well as you will be proud of the uh, child which you the doctor has blessed you with thank you very much